Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays. And while we're in the wonderful world of Airsoft and everything related to that subject, I happen to look on the Telegraph and Argos for my local area, and usually this thing is just full of shit. It's full of scum, wankers, people you just want to batter with a baseball bat. Just utter dregs of life is usually the stuff that you get on the Telegraph and Argos. And lo and behold, I saw this thing about a BB gun and I thought, what's that? I'll have a look at that. And it's knobheads like this that really could affect not only legislation in the UK, but the sport as well, and actually being able to buy airsoft weapons. Now, from looking at this, it seems as though this scrot decided to try and do a drive-by with a BB gun. Don't laugh. He drove past and he shot this girl with this BB gun. And apparently she heard, where is it? She heard a, a rattling or a crackling of a, of a BB gun. And uh, she looked down, and the, the spelling and everything is just dreadful on this site. It said, oh, there we go. She saw a mark on her hand. A small plastic BB pellet was fell from her clothing. So you can even tell the journalists are super genius as well. Terrible. So she looked at her hand, and she went, oh, there's a mark. So obviously it didn't hurt her very much, and it fell from her clothing. But what's more interesting is that he actually says that he bought it from Poundland. What the? Fucking Poundland! You can buy airsoft weapons from Poundland. Fuck me going to these airsoft guns. I'm going to go down there and get me an airsoft weapon for a pound. Are they on about a Nerf gun? I Mind you, it does say a small pellet. But anyway, it seems a little bit incredible to me. So what happens in the end when it went to court? He actually admitted it. And what did he get? He sentenced Townsend to two months in a young offenders institution for the common assault, but added the seven month for suspended sentence. Wow. So that, that, that gives you an idea of just how serious it could be if you go out and shoot somebody with this. I mean, when I was younger, I'm in my 40s now, 40 something. When I was younger, we used to go down the woods, we would shoot all, we didn't fucking shoot each other with gat guns, which was like you had to push it down. Screw the little cap off the bat and put a pellet in it, even with sometimes with a dart with a fluffy on the end. We fucking shoot each other. We must have been insane. You could have lost an eye. Could have hit you in a temple and killed you. But we, you do what you do, don't you? So you've got to be careful out there. And if you see any knobheads running around with a BB gun, not in a case, just chin them. Because it's going to affect everybody. They, they already were. That somebody was telling me at a recent site. The government was trying to push a couple of months ago to have the FPS reduced to 200. I mean, 200 FPS? I might as well shove them up my ass and fart them at the enemy because... Nice one. Utterly pointless. I want it to go up. I want assault weapons to be 600. And I want snipers to be 800. Because <laughs> there's just no range on these bloody things. But anyway, this has just been a little bit of dickhead of the week. Firing a BB gun at a girl. Trying to do a drive-by. And this was uh, hit Michelle Pulci, Pulci Mulci, and now she's got a little spot in her hand here, uh, a crackling sound. God knows what that be. So, um, Bradley Thompson, you're a knobhead. That's all. You can go now. I've got nothing else to tell you right now. Oh, but what I can tell you is, Saxon is getting addicted. He now wants a scorpion. So I may record tonight my little journey up to the usual place. I think you know what I'm talking about. And I may film him up there getting a scorpion. And I might have a little sniff around for some new uh, a new vest so that I can do the LMG. little hint there on what's coming. And possibly the DMR roll a little bit easier. But anyway, this has been Pad of Players updating you with some Telegraph and Argus news. You can go now. Bye-bye. He's still here. Cool.